able to sort you. Yes. Okay. Uh, that's why I was saying that don't you worry, I will get... On the gold uh, reserves, the just say yes uh, or no. Yeah, gold reserves, that actually we need as a country to move towards even establishing health funds and mm. gold reserves can help us in that. Yes. Uh, and that, that those are areas, those are emerging areas that we need to look at. Thank you. Thank you. Lastly, John Buddy, as a nominee, I have some few mundane questions for you. Have you ever been adversely mentioned in any integrity-related report or investigations? No. Uh, do you hold any leadership position in any political party within Kenya? No, at the moment. You said you resigned. Yes. Uh, can you tell us your net worth? My net worth, Mr. Speaker, is uh, 380 million. And Mr. Speaker, my net worth, the difference between, I, I, I saw some of my colleagues have done their calculation differently, but my, my understanding of net worth is it assets, less liabilities. Liability, yes. So if you take all the assets that I have, and I wish I had my file I've here. I've seen your calculation. Yeah, it's uh, 380. You have 437. Yeah, 437 less assets. 57 million liabilities. Yes. You are 380. Yeah, and the liabilities is mortgage within the Parliamentary Service Commission. Circle loans. Circle loans, about, 30, about uh, 20 million, about. And finally, there is the, the KCB bank loan of about 12 million, yeah. We received 43, we received 34. The only deferred income, honorable, sorry, honorable. Uh, the only deferred income I have is, uh, I have some invest, yeah, I have two now, but I do, the, one, the one for Parliament, I don't know. The pension, I don't know how much it will be, so I didn't It will be calculated. But there's one which I have with ICA of about six million. Your pension ever now will, it will be calculated. Yeah. It will be just below 200. Thank you. Chair, Chair I was uh, mentioning that because the, of the challenges uh, Kenyans have had with this matter, because like now his deferred income next year would constitute part of his net worth or rather when it matures, yes. and uh, most likely if he's approved or if he goes through another vetting, Kenyans will want to know how, how did your wealth grow? How did your wealth grow? I will be able to explain that, Mr. Speaker. So, nominee John Buddy, we received 34 memoranda against or about you, some saying it was right to be nominated, others not. And there are three particularly that just involve around, I think, parochial conflicts within your political setup. But you have answered all of them. So we will uh, we'll be, you know, there are some things that clearly look parochial, you know, uh, how you quarreled with people in political meetings and so on. Uh, we, <laughs> so, so we've also at your documents and cross-checked with uh, what you we have and we found them correct. So unless you are lawfully held, you are released to go to your other duties. Thank you. Today is your sabato. Yes. So you can go to church. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. In fact, Mr. Speaker, I requested for my day to be changed, but the only time which was available was still sabato. Yes. Because it was 7 p.m. yesterday. Yes. And according to uh, my faith, from 6 p.m. or thereabout, already Sabato Imengia. So, but uh, I treated this as a uh, kama. Is it Dunk uh, Yamangombe Mianguka Kwashimu? Yes. Lazima uh, Utoe. Yeah. yeah, but thank you, Mr. Chairman, together with my with members of parliament, members of the committee, for giving me this opportunity to appear before you and present my case. I have done my best. Thank you. Thank you. Sergeant, you can uh, escort the nominee. Thank you. Pardon, we'll give you five minutes. And let me also say this. Of course, this was a candidate of immense interest given the importance of the docket. There will be others with less uh, immense interest. So we'll recover the time we have overshot with the next or the other. Yes.